Hi. This program is going to take a look at the properties of the transition elements, and in particular, a look at their melting points and electrical conductivity. Down here, I have a graph of the melting points of some of the elements in period four of the periodic table. The first thing I'd like you to notice is as we move from calcium to scandium, right here, this break, we move into the transition elements. And you'll notice here a marked increase in their melting points. So that's the first thing I'd like to point out up here, that the melting points of our transition elements Let's take a look now at the reason why that happens. And I'll begin here with potassium. And I'm going to take a look at its energy level diagram here. So 19 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and my 19th electron goes here. Potassium has a tendency to lose that electron, being in the most distant orbital. And that is what lies behind our metallic bond. When potassium loses that electron, it develops a positive charge and sends that electron out where it becomes delocalized or free to move. And similarly, another potassium would tend to do the same. The metallic bond arises from the attraction that exists between a cation, a positively charged ion, and this sea of mobile delocalized electrons. Let's move to the next element over, calcium, and see how that picture changes. Calcium would have another electron here, so it would tend to lose two and develop a two plus charge and double the number of delocalized electrons. This results in a greater force of attraction because I have a higher charge present and more delocalized electrons. And we can see that here by this marked increase in its melting point. Now let's move into the transition elements and I'll use vanadium as my example with three more electrons that would be placed here, here, and here. One of the things we need to remember from atomic theory is that the 4s and the 3d orbitals are at approximately the same energy level their electrons lie approximately the same distance from the nucleus. And as a result, it's much easier now for vanadium to not only lose those two electrons, but it could lose up to three more. That then results in vanadium developing a five plus charge with five delocalized electrons. And similarly, a second vanadium cation would do much the same. This creates even a stronger force of attraction as we've increased the charge of our cation and our number of delocalized electrons. So I'd just like to note here that the number of delocalized electrons has increased. This increase in the number of delocalized electrons also promotes electrical conductivity. You might notice here at the end of my list copper, which is often used in wiring. So that's a quick look at some of the properties 
of our transition elements.